Hello YouTube. I am Pearl Robinson and I just want to welcome you to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, um, today will be a good day to subscribe. And when you subscribe, uh, please hit the, uh, the bell and this way you will be notified when I upload a new video. Also, like, share, and comment. I really would appreciate it. Um, today, I want to um, talk to women about childhood hurts. Women who have been hurt um, during uh, their childhood life, uh, when they were little, things happened to them, and they carry these secrets, and these secrets and these hurts are just destroying them. They can't smile because of the secrets, because of the hurts that happened when they were little. Perhaps um, you told someone about what was happening to you and perhaps they did not believe you in what you were saying. So you shut down. You, you didn't talk about it anymore. You, you held on to it as that little girl, as that teenage girl as that young woman and perhaps you, you're a middle aged woman well, however, however many years you are now perhaps you're still holding on to that to those childhood secrets and hurts and things that, that, that happened to you and perhaps you are blaming yourself but I come to uplift someone today to help you to smile again to tell you that it wasn't because of you uh, that you're not the blame what happened to you when you were little I know uh, it seems like maybe you weren't loved back then or you felt that you didn't have a voice back then, but I've come today to tell you that you do have a voice and there is someone that will listen to you. Someone that will listen to you with an open heart, open arms, and will not criticize you. Will not tell you that you're lying. He is Jesus Christ. You can talk to him any time of the day, the night. He will listen. He will restore you. He will give you that smile that will be everlasting. And you can smile again. But only Jesus can do that. So I come to tell you that stop blaming yourself for whatever happened to you, for whatever you were told that it was your fault, that you were no good, that you were never going to amount to anything. You know, perhaps it was physical abuse or even mental abuse. But I've come today to, to tell you that all those were lies. And that Jesus can help you. He can help heal your broken heart. He can restore you. He is the only one that can do it. Rest assured that you can talk to him. And he will not make you feel guilty. Make you feel like that, that little girl again. He will restore you. He will put love in your heart for you, for, you to, for you to love that person that did these things to you 
He, he would put the love in your heart. If the person is still living, uh, to forgive that person. He will store you. Restoration is what you need. And only Jesus can restore a broken heart that was scarred as a, a little girl who cried out, but no one listened to her. Only Jesus can fix it, fix the problem. You are beautiful. You are loved by Jesus. You were loved. What happened to you in the past as a little girl, as an older girl, or even as a teenager, or as a woman, and, and you, you held on to it because you were afraid. But I've come to tell you that you don't have to be held in bondage anymore. You can be healed. You can be, you can smile again. You can have joy in your heart that only Jesus can give. Why? Because Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And he wants you to open up to him. Open up to him. Tell him all of what happened. Get it out. We have to get it out. Because the more we, we, we hold it in, the more it's going to to hurt us and and and, and bring us down and, and 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 many women have low self esteem because of the things that happened to them in the past. These things weren't from God. They were dark stuff that happened. They were of the work of Satan. The work of Satan. Because of sin. Because of sin that's in the world. These things happen to you. But Christ took all that, those sins, to the cross. So you can be able to forgive this person. If this person is still in your life, or, or people... Sometimes, you know, uh, women are hurt by more than, more than one uh, person. Oh, God, this is for somebody. And I want you to know that you are love. That you are love. That you are not the person that you were told you were as that little girl, or as that teenager, or as that uh, woman, or as a wife who has been in an abusive relationship, you're not that person that you were told or you feel that you are. You are someone who is loved by Jesus. He loves you. And he wants to heal and mend. He wants to mend that broken heart. He knows what you been through, what you're going through. I hate. <sighs> but he loves you. He doesn't approve what happened to you. But sin is in the world. Sin is in the world. And it's, it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. What Satan meant for bad what happened to you as a little child, as a little girl. It was bad. It was horrible. It probably gave you nightmares, and you're probably still having nightmares from it. But what Satan meant to be ugly, vile, and dirty, God can turn it around right now for his good, and he can restore you. And, and give you the biggest smile so you can smile again. Why? Because he loves you and he doesn't want you to hurt. He will give you a forgiving heart. He will give you joy. Joy is everlasting. People, have, people are happy. Happy is temporary. Happiness, you can be happy one minute and the next minute 
you're sad. But when you give your life to Jesus and trust him and have a little talk with him and just accept it in your heart and tell him all about your issues, the, the things that happened to you, put it on, on his shoulder, Put those, give those burdens to him. He can carry them because it's, it's weighing you down. You're tired. You're tired of thinking about them. You're tired of, of having anxiety uh, in, uh, from them. It's destroying what your relationship that you're in now, perhaps. It doesn't have to be. Give it to Jesus. He's waiting on you. He wants to have a little talk with you. He, he wants you to accept him, talk to him, and let him carry those burdens. Because they, they are just life burdens that, that we all carry sometimes. But we have to give them to Jesus and he will help us get through them. Amen. So know that you are loved. You are beautiful inside and out. You may not feel whole right now, but Jesus can make you feel whole again. Amen. Satan wants to keep you enslaved, enslaved to what happened. Always bring into your mind, this you, you're not going to amount to nothing because you were the reason why this happened to you. He's putting all those thoughts in your mind, but that's not true. That's not true. You were young, you were innocent, and someone took your took that away from you. Someone took that away from you because of sin. That person had a choice to do what they did to you. And they choose some ungodly acts that they did to you. They chose some uh, uh, ungodly words that they used to you. Someone may have hit you, physically abused you. Look, but God loves you. Mm, he loves you. And he wants to restore you and give you joy and put that smile mm, back on your face that was taken away as that little girl. He wants you, it, it will be a real smile, not a fake smile, a joyful smile. Amen, amen. So do know that God, God loves you. He loves you more than, than you know. And he can restore you. In Jesus' name, he can restore you. I thank God that you took the time to uh, listen to the video. I, I pray that, that the video will, will help you uh, in talking to Jesus. And I love to see you smile. In Jesus' name, to God be the glory. You are loved. Keep on smiling. Again, this is Pearl Robinson. I pray that I've said something to help someone along the, the journey of life that, they, that, that you're going. I pray that uh, that joy will come in your heart after you've had a little talk with Jesus. And that restoration, you will be restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, this is Pearl Robinson. Uh, if you um, like uh, the content of this video, I do a lot of encouraging to women. Um, hit the subscribe button, and this way you will be notified when I upload new material. And also share with someone. Perhaps you know you've not gone through uh, you, you've not gone through anything, uh, uh, you know, any abuse, physical, mental, emotional abuse as a child, but, but you know someone that, that is suffering from their childhood, perhaps share it with them so they can know that uh, Jesus loved them. Amen. Amen. So, Pearl Robinson, 
I will see you in my next video. And you have a blessed day or night or whenever you're watching the video. Bye.